welcome students in the organic chemistry lecture series in continuation to our first lecture uh, in this lecture we will see more details in more details about reaction intermediate and transition state now as i said earlier every reaction goes via transition state and intermediate that means directly products are not formed that means if we take the uh, this suppose reactants and then in one step there is a formation of product so this does not happens reactants converts into transition state then they convert into intermediate and then there is a formation of product we know all reaction can be of single step reaction or two step reaction or if more than two step are there in the reaction then the reaction is called as multi step reaction so in any reaction whether reaction is single step or multi step reaction there is a involvement of transition state as well as intermediates okay so it is very important to understand what what is mean by these two concept transition state and intermediate okay in first lecture i have explained uh, uh, somewhat about transition state and intermediate now we will see in detail about transition state and intermediate now uh, see this graphical representation see this representation i think uh, uh, you know about sn1 reaction and sn2 reaction nucleophilic substitution reactions okay now if we consider uh, this as a nucleophilic substitution reactions suppose these are the reactants uh, if reactants come together then there is a increase in energy increase in energy so at this point there is a highest energy of the reactants so the reactant comes together comes closer to each other so the energy of reaction increases okay so this step is called as transition state now after this step there is a gradual decrease in the energy okay and some uh, stable state is occurred here and that stable step is called as intermediate again the energy of reactant increases and then fall down to form the product okay so what we understand from this that reactants are converted into product via transition state and intermediate transition state and intermediate now the main uh, focus of this lecture is on these two terms transition state and intermediate we have to understand what is the difference between transition state and intermediate because what happens uh, most of the time we get confused between transition state and intermediate uh, we think that both are same but actually transition state is different and intermediates are different so we have to study about the difference between transition state and intermediate okay so what is intermediate actually intermediate is short live charge species uh, it may have positive charge it may have negative charge or it may be uncharged species like free radicals okay but the main thing is that this intermediate is ha having a definite molecular structure and shape it exists okay but if we consider transition state it is also unstable it has high energy it is the unstable combination of reactants and this transition state does not have a definite molecular structure so what we understand from this is that intermediates and transition state both are highly unstable if we compare the transition state and intermediates both are highly unstable both are energetic but the main difference is that transition state exist but we cannot isolate this transition state whereas intermediates exist and we can isolate the intermediates okay so what we understand from this reactants are converted into the products via transition state and intermediate now we'll see one example we'll see one example now consider the example now this is a reactant what is the name of this reactant it is tertiary 
मिथाइल ब्रोमाइड टर्शरी मिथाइल ब्रोमाइड दिस इज वेरी फेमस रिएक्शन कॉल्ड एज न्यूक्लियोफिलिक सब्सटीट्यूशन रिएक्शन एस एन वन रिएक्शन ओके ना वॉट हैपन इफ वी सब्जेक्ट दिस रिएक्टेंट इन अल्कलाइन के ओ एच कंडीशन देन देर इज अ न्यूक्लियोफिलिक सब्सटीट्यूशन रिएक्शन नाउ इन फर्स्ट स्टेप वॉट हैपन्स दिस बॉन्ड बिटवीन कार्बन एंड ब्रोमीन बिकम्स वीक एंड देर इज अ डिटैचमेंट ऑफ ब्रोमीन फ्रॉम द कार्बन बट वी नो दैट ब्रोमीन इज मोर इलेक्ट्रोनिगेटिव एज कंपेयर टू कार्बन सो द इलेक्ट्रॉन्स विच आर प्रेजेंट इन दिस बॉन्ड विल बी शिफ्टेड टूवर्ड्स ब्रोमीन बिकॉज ब्रोमीन इज मोर इलेक्ट्रोनिगेटिव सो देर इज अ पार्शियल जनरेशन ऑफ पोल्स जनरेशन ऑफ चार्जेस on this carbon there is a generation of partial positive charge and on this bromine there is a generation of partial negative charge okay so this is the transition state this is the transition state this is very unstable state now after some time what happen this bond breaks completely and there is a formation of this tertiary methyl carbocation and bromide tertiary methyl carbocation and bromide now this tertiary methyl carbocation is called as intermediate this intermediate is relatively stable as compared to this transition state what i say this carbocation intermediate is relatively more stable as compared to this transition state now in further uh, condition in presence of alkaline koh what happen oh attacks on this carbon because this carbon is electropositive and oh is electronegative so oh gets attack on this carbon so in this way we have shown here there is a formation of bond between carbon and oxygen the bond is not formed completely but this oh is in the vicinity of this carbon and again there is a generation of partial charges partial positive charge partial negative charge the bond is not completely formed that's why this step this stage is also called as transition state this state is also called as transition state now after some time there is a formation of bond between this carbon and oxygen completely and we get the product now what is the purpose of studying this reaction is what is the difference between transition state and intermediate ye dekhna hai hame कि इंटरमीडिएट में और ट्रांजिशन स्टेट में क्या फर्क है सो व्हाट इज द डिफरेंस ट्रांजिशन स्टेट इज हाईली एनर्जेटिक एंड अनस्टेबल एज कंपेयर टू द इंटरमीडिएट सो दिस थिंग वी अंडरस्टैंड फ्रॉम दिस एग्जांपल नाउ वी विल सी द कंपैरेटिव स्टडी ऑफ ट्रांजिशन स्टेट एंड इंटरमीडिएट ओके सो हियर वी आर कंपेयरिंग ट्रांजिशन स्टेट वर्सेस reaction intermediate so what we have studied earlier that reactants are converted into products via transition state and reaction intermediates now what is the difference between these two term transition state and reaction intermediate so we will summarize uh, by point see transition state uh, in short we called it as a ts and reaction intermediate in short we called it as a ri now ts that transition state is formed in all reactions in all reaction transition state is form but reaction intermediates are form only in multi step reactions since if reaction is single step then reaction intermediates are not form but if reaction is multi step then there is a definitely formation of reaction intermediate what is the another point transition state cannot be isolated transition state cannot be isolated but reaction intermediate can be isolated under specific condition now in previous slide we have seen that transition state is highly unstable it has very high energy so it is very impossible to isolate that transition state from the reaction mixture but we know that reaction intermediates are relatively more stable and less energetic as compared to transition state so we can isolate reaction intermediate under some specific conditions so this is very important point of difference okay uh, then third point is that 
there is a no proof for existence of transition state. Now, as we cannot isolate transition state, we cannot characterize transition state by different methods like spectroscopy. So, there is a no proof for existence of transition state. But as we can isolate reaction intermediate under specific condition, we can detect them by chemical trapping as well as we can analyze them by spectroscopic methods. So, this is also a very important point of difference between transition state and reaction intermediate. Transition state has no proof for its, its existence whereas reaction intermediates can be detected by chemical trapping as well as spectroscopic methods like NMR. Then another point is that transition state has very high energy. Now if any species having high energy then it is less stable. It is less stable. Similarly as compared to transition state reaction intermediates are slightly more stable because they have less energy. And the very important point of difference between transition state and reaction intermediate is that transition state does not have definite molecular structure it does not have definite shape okay but reaction intermediate has definite molecular structure it has specific shape so these are the various point of difference between transition state and reaction intermediate i think uh, you have understand about transition state and reaction intermediate though if you have any queries you can post it in comment section so we will discuss it in another lecture okay so thank you very much we will stop here and we'll meet in the next lecture have a nice day